Okay, what I'm going to do here is a burn test on each one of these. This is a transit that I've made here. This is the top of a beer can, the bottom of a Coke can, another small monster cup trangia, and there's another one that I'm going to put in here. And I actually put two of these in each one. Other than this one, I put two and a half of these in here. And I'm also going to put a canteen cup stove on there to see how long it takes to boil. And here we go. Put this in there. Okay, now they have all begun. Let me go ahead and put this on here. And the lights. And they're also, I also have these lids for these to put on here. Now there are other people were talking about tape putting these lids right here and they were saying have two, one to snuff it out, one to put on there. Really when this thing gets going you're not going to be able to put your hand and put that on there. Even with the pair of pliers I've tried it. The best way is just to use a rag or something and snuff it out. Anyway, there have begun. The two in the center have started full flame. That is the top of the beer can one there on the left. They're on the left and then the one over here. The flame is pretty high. And the one back there in the canteen is not going yet. I just want to show you what they look like if I were to put the lid on there. See that? That's with the lid on it. And I can take it back off. Well, I guess it's not going to come off. Ah, oh well. And there's the other lid that I put on for the other one, which is right there. Now the one in the back for the canteen co stove has started. It has started to, the, all the burners have lid on it. The little Trangia stoves take a little while, but they do burn really good and long. I can try to get that little stand off of there. Let me try to get some pliers here. There we go, we took it back off now. So there they go, we're at 3 minutes 52 seconds. The little Trangia stove is starting to, it's trying to get going. And you've got to watch out sometimes if you've got a fire going on like this, like a few fire bugs. You might get the law called on you, the fire department, and here they'll come. Oh, look at that. There's the law, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the lights. Okay, the uh, canteen cup. Water's warm, but it's not boiling just yet. I actually have that burner scooted a little bit too far to the back. Okay, it looks like the little transient stove is trying to slot light. Lights.
There it goes. Now the Trangia has started. The smaller ones light a little bit faster. It's like, you know, I think it's the smaller the area is like if the the fuel has smaller amount of area to uh, turn into gas. Now you see the one is just turned off, the little the little uh, beer can right there. It is turned off. Okay, so since that is turned off. It is taking quite a while for the other change stove to get going. Six minutes, seven seconds. And I just love these little alcohol stoves. I think they're really neat, the way that they've been made. Now the lids, like I said, if we put the lid on there, like right here, the alcohol's burning down in the center of those. Alcohol's burning down there in the center. So if you put a lid on there, it keeps that part of the alcohol burning. It just comes out the gas area. They last longer. I've done little tests on those. and But that's just your preference. I mean, you know, the flame comes up higher, which means it's hotter, but it burns faster, so it's kind of equals out its its time, I would say, I guess. I mean, you know, if it gets hotter, there, your stuff's going to boil faster, whereas if it's not that high, you know, it's going to take longer to boil, so you're kind of probably using the same amount of fuel. Anyway, the little Trangia stove is going good, and for some reason the other one's not. It's just starting to burp out now. Go ahead and get this one out to the side here. So, you know, like I said, that flame is way up here. You're not going to get that. You're not going to get this lid and try to snuff that out. It's going to burn you. I've tried it plenty of times. It's just not going to work. It sure is taking the other one a long, long time to get going. It's start. It's trying. And the water now we have a slight boil. Let me take off the. Uh, turn the light on. See that. It's trying to start there. Now this is heat. Also this is heat. I just put it inside of a uh, alcohol bottle, which is pretty neat, I think. You have to really label that really good, though. You don't want your wife or somebody using that when that's actually... But anyway, these are the... This is the little beer can one here. And I scrubbed everything away with uh, Brillo. This is the other one. See how I cut the little holes down in there to let the gas go through in there? Same with that one. Now these are the double walls, so I had to do that twice. If you can see that one right there, you can see the hole in it. You can see the hole in the other one also. And this is starting to boil. 917. It's taking a little while. But it's got there. And that is a little the other little alcohol stove, little Pepsi can with lights. Well, it's a bummer that the big one's not turned on just yet, so I was hoping that that was going to come on. Anyway, that's a pretty good little deal, if I do say so myself. My kids love it. I'm going to go out and hopefully, you know, we go a little hiking trip or whatever else where everybody gets to make their own. Raymond noodles or a little beef stew or 